So I think a lot of people have heard by now that JD Power came out with their 2020 initial quality study and that Tesla did very poorly on their list. And I thought it was important that we look at what this actually means. So JD Power isn't actually allowed to survey Tesla owners in many states. So they surveyed 87,000 purchasers and leases of new 2020 model year vehicles, and they surveyed them 90 days after they've owned their car. So this is a 90 day initial quality study. So 1,250 Tesla owners were surveyed and Tesla received an initial quality score of 250 PP100 or 250 problems per 100 vehicles. Now the best companies on this study were Kia and Dodge and they had 136 problems per 100 vehicles. So yeah, I just wanna point out that means that each of those vehicles had 1.36 problems on average. So each of these cars has some kind of problem. And let's just be clear, if you have one problem on your car, that means that you're gonna probably have to go to the service center, get it fixed. If you have two problems on your car, it means you're gonna have to go to the service center and get it fixed, which is pretty much the same. So if you have two problems, it's, it's just the same amount of hassle as one problem for the most part. The other thing here is it's this initial 90 days. Right, you have to understand that Big Auto loves this because what they can do is come out with a car that makes everyone happy after the first 90 days. Now, you've had a nice car before. Uh huh. I don't think you've ever bought a new ice car. No, but the, the thing is in the first 90 days of buying whatever, usually you're gonna be pretty happy with it because most of the problems that happen with, with internal combustion engine cars do not happen in the first 90 days. Right. So you're, you don't have any timing belt problems. Yeah, the head gasket doesn't blow. The head gasket doesn't blow. There's no right. transmission issues in the first 90 days. And so that's why this JD Power thing is pretty useless. And many people think that JD Power is this snake oil salesman like, how can we, we'll make a bunch of trophies and everyone will get one. Right. It, it, and, and, and if you're a company and you want to tell people that you did well on the JD Power Associations or whatever, you have to pay for exactly. it. Tesla does not pay JD Power. And so why do you think JD Power has no incentive to give Tesla a good rating? That's why. In fact, this is kind of like when the mob comes to your store and says, hey, I think business has been kind of low lately. Like no one's coming in the door. What's I think if you uh, happen to uh, donate some money to my daughter's uh, cause here, uh, we could probably find some customers. Right. Everyone kind of knows that J.D. Power is a joke, except for, for some reason, most consumers, they just go, oh, Chevy's got J.D. Power. Wow. Right. And we're going to talk about more about this on our Patreon bonus story because yeah. there's some stuff we just can't get into here. Yes. If we want to change this world of ours, which we do, then we've got to spread information like this. And you can. We've made these clips short and easy to share. Just click on the share button down below, copy the link and paste it into an email or your social media. Now you know.